Today we're gonna to talk about corrective exercises for your ankles. Lance, what can the folks at home do for corrective exercises that will help their ankles? Well, Patrick, I guess a lot of it has to do with what their foot is actually doing. Okay, mm -hmm. because you know the foot is the first part of the body that plants, the, uh, plants our body's weight on the floor. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people either foot either pronates, turns in, or supinate, turns out. So pronate turns, turns in, in, in. Right, like a flat like, foot. Yep, high supinate arch. turns out. Right. How do you know if your ankles are pronating or supinating? You can find it out by standing behind an individual, okay, and looking the way their feet plant on the floor when they stand upright, or looking where they're wearing their shoe down. Okay, and so what would you look for like on the shoes? Okay, per so se? if they're wearing the inside of the shoe down on the heel, okay, towards the inside of the ankle, in a lot of cases their feet are pronating. If they're wearing it on the outside, they're supinating. How they set, literally, can put more stress on the hips and the knees as well. That's if you right. see pronation, you see more knee stress. Yeah. Okay, so if you see supination, you see more hip stress. So pronating, they're putting more pressure on the inside of the foot. Right. And supinating, they're putting more pressure on the outside of the foot. Right. If your foot pronates, what exercise do you do? So if your foot pronates, you wanna do anterior tibialis work. We do toes to the nose, ankle flexion. Toes to the nose. Right, you wanna hold it, each movement, okay, for about four or five counts and do about four or five reps. Those can be done daily too as well. If you're using resistance, then you wanna go about 10, 15 reps using resistance. You can do it a couple times a week as well. If you have a supination problem, what's the exercise that you can do? You wanna do ankle eversion, where the foot turns outward, okay? So you put resistance on the inside of the foot as the foot turns out that way. Right. Okay, because then it helps with the arch, lifting the arch and it basically straighten out this, the actual way the foot plants itself on the floor. What about orthotics, Lance? Orthotics will help to reset the ankle itself in the sense that it lines it up. Okay, so if a person has flat feet, they're gonna put an orthotic and it lifts the arch. Mm -hmm. Okay, and vice versa. Okay, most people that have, are, have high arches don't really need inserts or orthotics in their shoes, but if they have flat feet, they do to help to lift the arch to straighten the ankle, otherwise there's more ankle stress. So whether you're supinating or pronating, these corrective exercises, give them a shot, see if that resets the muscles and lessens the pain. Hey guys, are you interested in a full length workout video by Dr. Fitness specifically for baby boomers? If you are, then please fill out the form below and we will email you when that becomes available. Thanks again for another awesome episode of Muscle Monday, Thank Lance. you, Patrick, thank you. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that Muscle Monday video. Please leave us some comments. Let us know what you want to hear about and we'll address those in upcoming Muscle Monday videos. And if you liked this video, please click on that share button. It really means a lot to us. Thanks so much and see you next week.